Hello YouTube, Dayman Biker here, and I just thought I'd make a quick freeform tutorial on uh, how I get my uh, angles in Gary's mod. Um, uh, anyone who's an advanced builder isn't going to get help from this tutorial, but um, someone who just uh, has trouble getting, uh, getting your nice angles and angles that you want. Uh, quickly might find some help here and this is how I do it I've been playing Gary's mod for I guess more than eight years now and uh, things have changed quite a bit in that time uh, the, the way that uh, we used to do things was uh, basically uh, <laughs> impossible that's why if you look at contraptions from eight years ago they all suck um, but with uh, tools like uh, precision uh, also, you'll probably hear me refer to it as easy precision because that's what it used to be called when it first came out. And uh, and precision alignment, uh, making angles and stuff like this is actually very easy now. <laughs> you just got to know how to do it. So anyway, let's get started. Um, let's just uh, start out with a really simple chassis. I'm not going to build a whole tank, but, uh, but I'll just kind of show you how I get my angles to begin with. So good size chassis is maybe like, uh, let's do 90 by 144. Okay, so uh, first angle, we probably want uh, like a lower plate at 30 degrees. That's how usually my minimum angle there. So uh, first let's pick out the plate we want. Uh, how does 48 look? That's a little big. Let's go with a 42 uh, plate at 30 degrees. So. 42 by 90 that looks pretty good okay so how do we get this plate to 30 degrees and then attach it to this well obviously we can take out our precision tool this is one way to do it I'm not actually gonna do it this way but let's just uh, show it so uh, it's set to snap at uh, 15 degrees we have freeze target and then we have move selected uh, and we can actually we can just take take this and then attach it here and then um, we can hold down is it R? yeah we can hold down R and then rotate two clicks that's 30 degrees but if we look here uh, see that there's a gap here so it's not perfect I don't like that um, but that's one way to do it you can also uh, with precision which is how I used to make all my tanks you can like set your uh, push pull amount to 0 0.1 and you can whoops I <laughs> didn't mean to do that uh, hang on a second let's let's fix that really quick you can set your push pull amount to like a really small number like 0 0.1 and then uh and then just duck and move it uh move it down see now now it's pretty good now it's pretty even but that took a little while. That was kind of a crappy way to do it. Um, I'm going to show you a better way to do it uh, using precision alignment. The reason why it's not perfect is because with precision, how how it snaps to where you're putting it is uh, let's get out a tool gun. Is, see how how the smart snap location is a very small distance from the actual side of the prop. That's what it's rotating around. We want it to rotate right around the very edge of the prop, right? So this is what I do. And this probably isn't the best way to do it. There might be a better way to do it just with precision alignment. Um, but this is how I do it because it's easier for me. What I, would, what I do is I take out my precision tool. I know the prop I want. I know what I'm attaching it to. And then I, I click on rotate under precision. I pick the number of degrees I want to rotate it. So let's rotate it to 30 degrees. Each of these clicks is 15, so 2 is 30. Then I take out my precision alignment tool and then uh, make sure that uh, enable construct display, snap to edges, and snap to center lines is turned on. And uh, have point 0.1 selected. And then uh, up here, click on hit pose. And it's going to snap to your edges because that's what it says here, right? So click on hit pose, and then let's click in the corner of this prop. Boom. 
Now, if we notice, point one is literally on the corner. It's not on the smart snap line. It's on the corner, right? Right? So then let's get point two. As we're basically going to move point one to wherever point two is. So what we need to do is we need to put point two where, uh, where these things will flush together, right? So we're going to put point two right here on this corner. If we put it on this upper corner, then uh, then this would be like uh, three up. So we don't want that. We want it to be down here on this corner. Then we just uh, right click to select uh, the prop we want to move. So if we want to move this prop to this one, we would be right clicking this and then moving two to one or whatever. Um, then we want to move point one to point two because this is point one, this is point two. So this is going to move this prop until point one is on top of point two. So in our Q menu, we don't even need to use the context menu for this. We select point one on the left, and then we select point two on the right, and then we just click move entity. Boom. Done. And uh, that might have sounded a little complicated, but really, it's really easy when you get used to it. Crazy easy. Look at this. Just perfect flush right there like it's awesome and then uh, for stuff like this like like let's say um like see how we got these like triangle props here like this like how did I get these in here oh they're so good oh no okay <laughs> sometimes I'll actually put the triangle prop there and then I'll just line this up to whatever angle that is which is probably what I did with this tank right so how, how do I get this angle on this triangle prop the same as this? Well, uh, here's one way to do it. So let's say, uh, let's get out a, a triangle prop. It's freeform uh, tutorial here, kids. So not going to be scripted. Oops, I apparently don't remember how to use the fizz gun. Hang on a second. There we go. Okay, so apparently I picked a prop that's like perfectly uh, aligned. So let's just let's just say that uh, let's just say that this prop is rotated like this. We don't know what that angle is, right? Okay, so how do we rotate this prop? to where it's about even with this prop, right? So first let's put this prop in a uh, in a reasonable spot. So we're gonna hang out our precision alignment tool, put it in the corner, move one to two, things already in the right place, boom, it's already there. Okay, but these things aren't lined up. So we could either try to rotate this with precision alignment, not precision alignment, I'm sorry, for with precision, easy precision, by just like clicking here, but that's gonna fuck everything up. So we want to rotate it around this edge, right? So we're going to use the precision alignment rotate. And to do that, what we need is we need a line that we want to rotate it around. Um, so uh, since we've got an open side, we can just hit pose, hit normal on this here, and it'll make a line we want to rotate around. But uh, if for some reason you can't get to the uh, direct edges of your prop, like left and right, what you can do is you can put a point on this edge, then put a point, number two point over on this edge. And then we need to go into our R context menu, go to functions, and then uh, line from two points right here. We want to use line one as our construct and select point one and two and then click set. And it's going to make a line right here. See, it's right on that, uh, that seam there. That's what we want. And then the proper rotating, so the prop we're going to move, we need to select that. So we're going to right click on the, uh, on the proper rotating and then we're going to go into the context menu again with R. 
Then we're going to go to the rotation tab and then rotate around axis. And we're going to pick line one as the axis. And then you can just enter the number of degrees you want to rotate it. So if you're not sure, you can put like one degree there. And then when you click rotate entity, boom, it just rotates around that axis. We rotated the wrong way, so we can just click this negative sign here, changes it to negative one. And then you can just eye it up. This is really useful if you've got like crazy angles and you're not quite sure exactly what to do. I know this is how uh, Sir Dobbers often angles his props and he's a crazy good builder. So uh, so there you go. Boom. Lined up. Not lined up perfectly, but if it doesn't matter. That's how you rotate around an axis. That's really useful. I probably specifically wouldn't use it for this. Um, and there's a better way uh, that I use to uh, rotate these props perfectly and I'll show you that right now. Um, I, there's also functions where you can just rotate it the right way right away but I don't know I'm, I don't usually use those because they confuse me this is just easier. Um, anyway if you've got an angle that you know and it's a flat angle like this like this is lined up with the axes of the map right uh, they're using precision and precision alignment we can basically immediately get the perfect angle for this right uh, and this is how I do it so we know that if you use precision alignment it retains the angle when it moves it so how do we get this angled exactly the same as this triangle here well we could measure the angle and then use precision to change no we're not going to do that what, what I do is I'll just take the precision tool grab this anywhere it doesn't even matter then I'll just put it here like this boom now it's at the exact angle but it's in the wrong place oh okay so now now like we learned before you just take out your precision tool put number one point there and just put number two point there and then boom okay it's at the exact same angle See, that's that's how I that's like the key to like everything I do, right there. Like if, if you don't like it uh, being perfectly flush like that, you can put this this first angle wherever the hell you want. Like let's put it there instead and then move it. See now it's uh oh Jesus. See see now now it's like see it it's on the top angle so it's not even flush. It's just on top of it like that. That's how I angle like all my props. That's that's it that's that's the key here and then for stuff like uh, turret rings for instance uh, what, what I used to do to get the center of the turret ring is I would just like what the hell's the, let's get in here let's get in here yeah mm, yeah baby so how, how do I get this turret base prop in the center of this circle right and uh, long time ago I would have like taken a prop and like put it across here using precision like I would have like I would have like figured out how wide this is it's probably like 72 wide and I would have like taken a prop that's 72 and like put it over here and then pushed it by 72 to the center with precision and then put this prop on it and pushed it up and down but no we don't gotta do that what is this what is this is this is this is this the year 2009 or something we don't gotta do any of that right right guys what we can do is we just we literally just go we find the turret base prop we want to use so we go into our plate so we're like oh we want to use this 42 by 42 okay well, what do we do now then you just go into precision alignment you go you find mass center mass center is going to find the mass center of the prop which since this is an even prop it's right there but if you get something like a if you get something like an ACF gun, like a, let's find one here. Like, like let's say we have a gun. If you do mass center on this, because this isn't a balance prop. Where the hell is, here it is. Mass center, the, the point's like over here. Which that's really useful if you're placing your gun. Because um, then it's like in a reasonable place. And then uh, coordinate center 
it, I guess that's just like some setting on the prop or something. I, I'm not actually exactly sure what coordinate center is actually finding, but that's useful in placing the gun too. Uh, bounding box center is just finding the center of this smart snap box. And then uh, hit pose just tries to put the it tries to put the thing wherever you're aiming. But if you've got snap to edges and snap to center lines on, it's going to snap to the edges and the center lines. So if you uncheck those, then it'll snap wherever you're looking. That's really useful too. Anyway, back to what we were doing. That was a tangent. Uh, so we want to put this prop in the middle of this circle, right? So uh, we can just take this out. We can do mass center on this prop, put it right in the middle, even middle vertically. And I right click it because we know we're going to be moving this one. Then take out our uh, point two. Click on this prop. Boom. Center. Then we just uh, move number one to two. Boom. It's in the center. We did it. We did it. And then like if it's too high or too low, you just take out your precision tool. And then you're like, oh, it's too high. So then you can just set your uh, push-pull amount to like five or something. Then just push it to whatever level you want. Boom. That's done. That's all you got to do. Then you just take out your uh, axis center tool and you, whoa, it's that easy. That's it. Okay. <laughs> so there's, uh, there's how I do that. That's, this is the basics of everything I do. I just, I either angle it with precision or I, I basically always angle the prop with precision and then I move it on. And if it's something that I can't angle with precision, like a, like a, uh, angle that, um, that I'm not sure, like I have to angle it between two props. Then I do that trick where I make a line on the prop and then I rotate it around that line with precision alignment. And that's how I move all of my props. And then uh, then stuff like guns, let's, let's look at a, a, a gun thing. Let's say we want to, uh, uh, let's, let's say we, we've got a tank, right? So let's, let's just spawn a tank, right? Let's do that, that makes more sense than this, right? So let's uh, let's get out our advanced dupe tool and let's get out a, a tank. Uh, where's the tank here? Is this a tank? Uh, it's a garbage tank. Uh, let's see here. Okay, well this sucks. I don't even know what we're doing here. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Okay, here we go. Let's just get out the stupid SH-21B piece of shit tank. Okay, so uh, how did I get this gun in the turret centered like this? Uh, like, you could take precision and then you could, like, put the gun on the center prop and then move it around by pushing and pulling it. Or... Oops. Or we could just do this. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Is everyone ready? You guys ready for this? You guys ready for this this legit legit pro tip? Okay, so take it our precision alignment tool. We get out our mass center. Boom, put it there. That that seems like a good place for the, the gun to go, right? So you right click on it. Got your mass center point one there. And then uh mass center point two. Move point one to point two. Boom! Gun is in a great place already. If you want to adjust it, you can use you can use uh, precision alignment to move the points around. Or I honestly just I'm like, oh, it's too far forward. Oh, and, and I just adjust it that way. I don't care. Um, and then uh, for the axes, all you do is instead of doing like axis center, uh, what you do is you you get a line, right? So I'm just gonna hit pose, hit normal, align right here. Like this, see the, the line's going perfectly that way. That means our axis is going to rotate that way. So it's going to rotate around that point. Uh, it doesn't matter where it is. And then uh, you just mass center on our, our fucking gun. And then we uh, mass center on what we're going to attach it to, right? So we uh, mass center on this, this plate here because that's the turret base plate. We go into our R menu. We go into our constraints. We go ahead and we click axis constraint. We want to constraint point one to point two, and we want it to rotate around uh, line one. Create constraint, create constraint. Boom. 
and then uh, uh, this, this is all collided and stuff, so I'm just going to collide this, but boom, whoa, look at that, holy crap, it's rotating around that point, so that, that's basically how that works, if you didn't know how the access stuff worked, or you were a little confused, um, hopefully that helps a bit, you're going to have to obviously uh, <laughs> try a little bit on your own, because this isn't too uh, fulfilling of a tutorial and explaining everything, but but basically the, the key with accessing is you just need your point on the first prop, the second prop. If for some reason you want it to rotate in a way that requires the uh, like the point to be in a different place, you have to make sure that uh, like like let's say that uh, okay, let's move this here. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's let's do this again. Let me let me show you here. This is okay. So let's take this gun here. Let's take back out our uh, precision alignment tool. Let's go ahead and mass center this. Uh, let's mass center at number one, and then let's number two here again, and then we'll move one to two. Let's say you don't want the gun to be that right there. Let's say you want the gun to be like, like here. This is just an example. I'm not gonna actually do this. Uh, if you notice, our point one rotation point is back here. You don't want it to rotate back here. You want it to rotate up here, right? So you want it to basically rotate at the mass center, but you don't want to put the gun at mass center, right? So what you can't, what you can do is uh, go ahead and mass center point one on the prop like that and then uh, put your point two here because it still needs to be here then uh, what you need to do is you need to attach point one to the gun because right now it's attached to this uh, this front prop here right because we clicked on this front prop so to attach it to the gun you just right click on the gun then you go into the Q menu select point one and then you just click attach. Then now you can see the line. That means it's attached to the gun now. So this point is now attached to the gun. And then it's just it's just like creating an axis uh, like before. You just go into the arm menu, point one, point two, uh, axis you want to rotate around. So if this if this uh, line here was like facing this way, then our axis would be like rotating the gun like this way. So we want it to be this way. So we just go into the R menu, create constraint, and boom, you're done. Now it's rotating around that front point instead of uh, the one farther back. So that helps a lot. Uh, you can actually move the points around in the R menu. If, if you go into the R menu, you go into uh, points, you can like add numbers to them and stuff and move them around wherever you want. I'm not going to go over that. It's confusing. I don't even usually do that. I usually just take a prop and put the prop where I want the point and then mass center. It, it's easier for me, but uh, some people are like savants with uh, precision alignment, and there's ways to do all this stuff with just precision alignment. I I don't I don't care. I've been playing like forever. It's just I I just don't want to really learn it. <laughs> but yeah, uh, hopefully this tutorial helps you guys. Um, anyone who's in need, if it's not helping you at all, then uh, either you really don't like my teaching style or uh, you already know how to do it. This isn't for anyone who already knows how to do this kind of stuff unless you have a really really inefficient way of doing it. Um, I can't really think of much else uh, that you might want to know. Um, the trick where you rotate around axes, uh, th this right here is an angle like that. Like, There's really no way to get this angle here because th this prop isn't shaped right. So like you just rotate around axis, boom. Uh, so if you want to know a good place to use that, that's one. Um, uh, other pro tips uh, from the olden days, like uh, like let's say you got an engine in 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 here and uh, you don't know how to place the engine. So let's uh, let's let's like say that like um, let's get our our ACF engine here. Uh, so let's go into mobility engines. This is this is way off topic from where we just were, but whatever. Um, so you have an engine here, right? Right, and, and you're like, you're like moving around inside your tank, and like, and, and like your engine's here, right? Like this, 
and you're like, I want to move my engine to the right, uh, but but you can't just take out the precision tool and move it to the right because it'll like move it up and down because this is like an irregular shape. So how do you move it straight left and straight right and straight forward and back usually works because the, the front and back are flat, but straight left and right, how do we do that? Uh, there's ways to do it with precision alignment. Those are a little complicated. What I do, this is major pro tip right here, is just take a flat prop, take out your weld tool, weld it to the flat prop, unfreeze this, and then just uh, then just move this flat prop around. Oh, whoa! Okay, and then you just refreeze this, delete your prop. You can constrain this wherever you want. That's a pro tip uh, if you're confused about moving props like that. Um, that really has nothing to do with the video. But uh, that's something I use pretty much every time I build a tank. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. Hopefully that helps you. If you got any questions, ask in the comments. I'll try to answer them. Um, I can't think of anything else to say. Uh, have a good one.